welcome back to nursing mantra are you planning to pursue a bsc nursing degree in india confused about eligibility admission procedures and entrance exams don't worry nursing mantra is here to assist you in securing your seat in the top nursing colleges across india before we begin let me introduce myself i have completed my masters degree in medical surgical nursing and i am currently pursuing a phd in nursing i have authored eight nursing related books published by ms publishers i studied nursing in andhra pradesh at a medical college and pursued my higher studies under rjhs karnataka i have vast nursing experience across saudi arabia uae and india having worked as lecturer at nursing colleges nurse educator in hospitals emergency department nurse my guidance is based on first hand experience and my goal is to help you make informed decisions about your nursing education and career nursing education in india is vast offering multiple courses to suit different career aspirations let's take a look at the various nursing courses available anm auxiliary nurse midwife that is two year course that is focusing on maternal and child health care community health nursing gnm general nursing and midwifery three year course plus six month um, internship is there a diploma course providing extensive practical nurse training bsc nursing that is four year degree course it is a comprehensive undergraduate degree in nursing post basic bsc nursing that is two year course for gnm qualified nurses looking to upgrade the qualifications you can do post bsc in igno indira gandhi open university and all it is for 3 years msc nursing 2 years post graduate specialization in nursing fields like medical surgical nursing pediatrics obstetrics and gynecology like that specialization will be there mphil nursing that is for 1 year that is advanced nursing research degree phd in nursing 3 to 5 years doctorate level research in nursing science one year diploma and certification courses post uh, nursing like after your diploma certification gnm or after your degree there is post diploma courses are there one year courses critical care nursing oncology nursing neonatal nursing like that specialized certificates will be there one year course now we will see importance of recognized nursing colleges before taking admission ensure the college is recognized and approved by indian nursing council inc verifies if the curriculum meets the national standards then state nursing council required for state specific nursing registration university approval you have to ensure the college is affiliated with a recognized university a good nursing college should have adequate infrastructure experienced faculty and well equipped hospitals for practical training now let us talk about the eligibility criteria for bsc nursing admissions in india candidate must have completed 12th grade with physics chemistry biology and english as compulsory subjects minimum aggregate marks required vary but most college expect 45 to 50 percentage for general category students and 40 to 45 percentage for ssc st and obc candidates some universities and institutions require candidate to be at least 17 years old at the time of admissions entrance exams for bsc nursing in india aims bsc nursing entrance exam it is conducted by all india institute of medical science that is aims admission into aims delhi and other aims branches the exam covers biology 30 mcq questions will be there from chemistry 30 mcq questions from physics 30 general knowledge 10 marks will be there and general knowledge and aptitude so total 100 mark aims application form usually in the month of march uh, first week they usually they are publishing but this year uh, not it published in the site so you have to monitor the website um, kindly prepare the domicile certificate caste certificate now itself if it is required for the admission sir only females are eligible for bsc nursing admission in aims eligibility safe score that is 65 percentage and above syllabus based on the 11th and 12th grade syllabus minus marking will be there 1 by 3rd mark it will be minus 
for the uncorrected responses. All applicants are required to ensure photo, signature, left thumb impression according to the instructions provided in the application. List of documents. Candidate has to bring following documents original along with one set of self-attested copies at the time of the verification of original documents as per the schedule. Admit a card issued by AIMS New Delhi you will receive and a matriculation or high school secondary certificate issued by board, 11th or 12th mark sheets, migration certificate from the uh, higher secondary board, physical disability certificate if it is applicable. You have to print out all these documents and keep the application details until the admissions. The next we will see another entrance exam that is JIPMER conducted by the Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research. Based on entrance test including biology, chemistry, physics, English and logical reasoning will be there. Now we will see PGIMER Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research. It's an online application. It's a starting from 4th week of May last date to submit the application form that is fourth week of June availability of admit card that is fourth week of July date of entrance exam fourth week of July announcement of result second week of August counseling process third week of August application mode is online application fees is 1500 Indian rupees payment is online mode eligibility only for female candidates there are other central and state government nursing admissions institutions like BHU Benares Hindu University ESIC nursing colleges also conduct their own entrance exams. Many state now require NEET UG scores for BSc nursing admissions include Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Kerala. Some states have state specific entrance exams like Karnataka KCET, West Bengal's Genpas UG and Odisha OGEE nursing. Parents often ask where should I admit my child? medical college or a nursing college with a smaller hospital. Here is my advice based on my own experience. Medical colleges provide rigorous practical training from the beginning. However, students must be physically strong and have a good study skills and as they often work like staff nurses in their second year itself. Fast learners thrive here, but those who need more study time may struggle. Nursing colleges with a small hospitals still provide sufficient practical exposure as per INC standards. Students can develop their skills during postings and focus more on studies. Ultimately, your choice should depend on the student's learning ability, physical endurance, and career goals. After course completion, selecting a good hospital for experience is key to shaping your career. We understand that the admission process can be overwhelming. That's why Nasi Mandra is here to assist you at every step we provide. Guidance on choosing the best nursing colleges based on your preference. Assistance with entrance exam preparation and application submission. Support in understanding state-wise and central government admission procedures. Help with document verification and counseling processes. So, if you or someone you know is planning to pursue BS nursing or any other nursing courses in India, let Nasi Mandra be your trusted guide. For personal guidance, contact us today. Our team is ready to help you secure your nursing dreams.